We are seeing a huge boom in the tattoo industry, and it seems like ever since the pandemic, there have been tons and tons of new tattooers that are starting out, and honestly, I love to see it. Now, some of them are passionate artists that take it very seriously and they're going about it the right way, but unfortunately, there's always going to be a bunch of people that think it's an easy way to make money from home, and they're never going to take it seriously. But if you are a new tattooer out there at a studio and you would like for us to review some of your work, feel free to send it in. I'll offer any help that I can, any advice I can, and uh, that leads me to this next review. So. Stick around, let's break it down. This tattoo was sent in by Din from Munich, Germany. Now, he's only been tattooing about seven months now. If you want to check him out on Instagram, DXN underscore tattoo is his tattoo profile there. And he's working at Tattoo Fashion. It's right there in Munich, Germany. If you want to check him out, tattoo underscore or tattoo fashion underscore Munich on Instagram. They got some real great, decent, clean work from their artist there. So I absolutely recommend checking them out, you guys. Now, let's break it down. Uh, to be honest, I'm very hesitant to rate this one from 1 to 10, uh, since he's definitely still learning, he's definitely improving, and I'm so what I think I'm going to do is just offer some insight if I can, and I'll give an overall score at the end. Uh, if I zoom in here, the first thing that pops out is some of these wiggly lines on the whiskers, yep, <laughs> and I think that's common. A lot of tattoo artists, especially when they're getting ready to do a long, smooth line, especially parallel lines like this, uh, the nervousness of knowing you're about to do them is going to get you shook, and so you got to just get in a zone, get in your flow state, and just do every line very consistently. Now, I'm also seen it in the teeth some of these look a little bit more faint than others and when I pop over to the healed version that he sent me you can see that that's definitely true they come out a little bit lighter than the other ones a little bit fainter and uh, here's a little gap here from the same thing happening now all this is is just consistency that is the name of the game with tattooing is consistency you got to keep your depth and your angle and your speed of progression all consistent and so when you're starting a really long line like this you got to just keep going keep that distance lock it in it's a very robotic smooth motion and uh, it helps to imagine yourself as a CNC machine. You know what those are? Those engraver machines? Something like that. Imagine you are a robot just like that because that is the skill it requires to get lines very smooth and consistent. Uh, overall though, I think a lot of these lines are smooth. A lot of them came out really clean and so he didn't do a terrible job here. It's just some of them are a little bit deeper than others. Some of them are a little bolder than others and little gaps uh, came out after the healing. Now it's hard to judge, maybe the client was scratching at it, maybe they were rubbing up against the tree, but overall I do think that this is just uh, something that could be fixed and cleaned up a little bit uh, through good technique. And uh, the other thing I want to point out is this uh, sort of stippling shading here that he's done in this piece, this uh, dot work or line dot shading, whatever you want to call it, it's definitely gained a lot of popularity in the last couple of years, and we're seeing a lot more and more artists that uh, not only do they do this type of work, but this is the only type of shading that they learn in their whole career. They start out with this kind and they stick with it. Now there's nothing wrong with that if that's what you like doing, but my advice to you, Dan, would be to learn all kinds. Learn standard shading as well, whip shading, everything that you can. Learn all those techniques because these trends, they come and go and uh, right now it's hot and that's awesome. I, I have some experience doing it even though it's definitely not my typical style of artwork so I had to learn it as well. But in your case I would say definitely learn all the fundamentals because these trends will come and go and you want to be well equipped to, to handle anything that comes in the door, any request from a client. Even if this is the type of work that you want to do and you're always going to stick with, you should always have those fundamentals down pat. Now, the only other thing I'm going to talk about is this black work here. It looks really nice and solid, smooth, really saturated. And when I go to the healed version, uh, I don't know if you guys can see it quite as well, but right here, there's a little bit of chunkiness, right? You can see that around there, too. Now, this is just from overworking it. And this eyebrow right here, you can really see it. This is from overworking the skin a little bit, and uh, it's a little bit raised. That's what happens when we overwork the skin. You, uh, you might get some scarring and some raising. Now, this might not be fully, fully healed, and so this skin might settle down a little bit. But right here, that's, that's what I'm seeing. That's indicative of overworking a little bit. So, again, consistency is your friend so always start off slow paced and keep a consistent technique as you go just keep moving slowly and progressing so that you're not having to jump back and forth and fill in patches because that's usually what you get if you have to jump back and retouch up things you usually with tattooing you want to get in get out and uh, you'll you'll avoid getting things like this if you hit them good the first time over so that's my recommendations for you I think with this tattoo honestly I think you did a great job especially for being seven months in so I'm gonna rate this one a seven out of ten I think there's definitely room for improvement and cleaning up in a little and a few little spots but overall seven months in I think you're killing it man uh, that's it for this one. You guys, uh, give him a rating down below. Let him know what you think of his artwork and any of my tattoo artists that follow him. If you got any other advice you think you could help, just give it to him down in the comments below. All right, we'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye-bye.